Developing tonight, Metro Police are preparing for a major crackdown on fare evaders. Metro estimates 2 to 3 percent of riders evade or don't pay for their ride. The reason for the crackdown is not about a lack of revenue, but it's more about assault on Metro employees. Matt Acklin is live at the Tenleytown Metro Station with more. Matt. Gabby. Yeah, Tony, you said it. It really is about assaults on employees. We are told by Metro officials today that over the last couple of months, there have been simply too many assaults on Metro employees. And the reason why they're typically over fair disputes when an employee and a customer get into some kind of dispute, something goes wrong. Metro police are tired of it and they are planning a crackdown soon. See for yourself, three males decide they're not paying to ride and simply hop over the gates. It's not so much that we've noticed an increase in fare evasion itself, but what we have detected is a significant increase in the number of Metro employees being assaulted. Metro says assaults on employees are on the rise and many times come after fare disputes. A station manager was stabbed by a rider at the stadium armory stop recently when the passenger wanted to enter without paying. What the station manager said was if you're coming into the station, you need to process your fare card. And at that point, it was an altercation that escalated to physical and ended with him being stabbed. Metro is not waiting until May to arrest offenders. This is video as Metro police stopped what we are told was a frequent offender who would often piggyback behind other riders to gain access. We take these very seriously. We've heard our employees. We want to make sure that they're safe at work, um, and that's why we're doing this. In one area that they're really going to be focusing on, Metro Police, are these gates. You'll see them at most of the stops. It's where people who are uh, disabled can get through and also people just pass through. A lot of times the fare evaders will go through there and sneak in. Police are going to be watching this. The way this works, they're going to make a big announcement in April, uh, give people basically a two-week warning, and then this new enforcement is going to take place in May. And, Tony, they're talking about not only handing out tickets, if these are repeat offenders. They are going to arrest them. In some places, these arrests will stay on your record. We're going to have more for you coming up tonight at 6. Matt Acklin, live Fox 5 News.